All righty. <laughs> guys and gals, what's going on, everybody? Look at this gnome. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, I guess that's a sour enough puss. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, what's going on, everybody? It's Big E here with you. Welcome back to Season of Discovery. Who are you? That is our dwarf hunter. He goes by the name of Rush. Mail. Let's check it. We sold some things. We sold um, that. Those. Them. Those there. These there. Them. Them. Themins. And these ends. And give me the rest of the stuff on it. Alrighty, we're doing like okay ish on uh, bag space here. Not the best. Um, why do I have these two things in my bag? Did I not sell them? I guess I did not. Hey, how'd you like some junk? Great to meet you. Was I saving this? No, I don't want this. And I want to save that. Um, do I want to save that? Maybe. I'll, I'll hold on to it for right now. Um, yeah. All right. Can I get it together? Keep your feet on the ground. Keep yours on the ground. This episode, we're going to head back across the lock. Yes, we are. Let's give Fiodi a piece of meat. We're uh, upgraded to the mutton shop. He likes mutton shop. Yes, he does. We're going to see if we can get one more enforcer and four brutes and finish up this elite mercenaries quest. Hope you guys and gals are doing well today. I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, which is uh, a welcome state of affairs. I've not been feeling the best lately. A little down and depressed and blah, blah, blah. Ba -da -da -da. Do -do -da -da. Do -do -do -de. Went to the gym this morning. Feels good why well one of the reasons i go to the gym i see we have a thing that i might want right there let's go down and get her had chest day i like chest day Fiori, Fiori. The Fjodster. The Fjodowski. Yeah. Anyway, today is a Sunday. How dare you? I waited a little while to go to the gym because it was damn cold. I really just wanted the, the ice to... Uh, I went, wanted to wait till the sun uh, melted the ice off the car. Warmed it up a little bit. Great place to get some skins up there. It's kind of like uh, what I call Crocodile Island, which is at uh, this one. Another great place. Quick respawn rate. It's the only time I really like a quick respawn rate is if I'm farming something. Chickens are going crazy when they heard me, but chickens are liars. It's really just one chicken that calls out as if he hasn't eaten in weeks. 
plenty of food back there. They're so messy. They literally spill half of the container on the ground while they're eating it. Yeah. So they have plenty of food. There's an uh, enforcer. We need this. It's getting heal range. Let him get two taunts. Two taunts in the truth. I watched a movie last night with my landlord. Never seen it before. It's by the director Aronofsky, I think is his name. It's called Mother. With Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem. It's got Ed Harris in it, Michelle Pfeiffer. It's got the Gleason brothers in it. Really good movie. But it was, God, Jesus, was it weird. So I was, she had seen it before, but it had been a while. I had not. And I was trying to figure out, if you've seen that guy's movies, like he did The Whale, Requiem for a Dream, um, some other stuff. I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff. He uses a lot of symbolism, metaphor, things like that. And so I was trying to figure out, like, what was going on. So the name of the movie is Mother, so that's kind of a hint. I think you can interpret that movie in a number of different ways. And I was going, I was trying to figure it out, like, what, you know, oh, shit. So at first I thought it was... I can't hit my sting. There we go. I thought it might be showing or symbolizing his thoughts. Fuck, we're going to have another one here. We got to go. I don't think I can keep him up. I'm going to try. So I was thinking maybe it's what a baby hears in the last months before it's born. It's because it's chaotic and it hears all these noises. We can't do this. I'm out of mana. We got to go. But I ditched that idea. Fuck, I pulled another one. And then I was thinking, okay, well, maybe it's just as simple as, like, it's a metaphor, not even really a metaphor of, like, what a mother deals with, or, like, a stay-at-home type of mom who's raising a family, gets pregnant again, and it's kind of chaotic, and she's not getting recognition or, you know, atten not attention, that's a bad way to put it, but and I was running with that for a while. But there were these other symbolic things in the movie which were weird to me. So then I settled on, well, for a little while I was thinking, early on in the movie I was thinking she's not actually in this house that she's in. Like she's in a mental institution or in a coma and all of these things going on around her are stuff she's experiencing. Um, and her brain... Because this this is this happens, especially in coma patients. When they come out of the coma, they describe as if they've been in a well, not been in a movie, but the if their brains are active enough, everything they hear, it's it's kind of like a dream. Have you ever been dreaming, and there's an external noise in real life, and you're you're in the dream, it just works right into the your dream instantaneously. It's kind of what a coma patient experiences as well if they come out of it. So I was thinking maybe it's that. And then I ditched that idea. Where's these brutes at? I don't, oh my god. 
This guy's coming back. We're going to get into the same situation here. This is ridiculous. Can I get him here? How far are you coming, bro? He's coming all the way up. Oh my god. This is not good, man. Okay, I'm going to have to work my way in here. Instead of trying to do what I'm trying to do. I can't take... I can't take any more of those. Okay, we're out of combat. Okay. <laughs> anyway. The end of the movie is real fucking weird. So I was pretty close. I, based on the name of the movie and Jennifer Lawrence in the movie, she has, her character has no, she speaks, she has dialogue, but she really has no voice um, at all. And she's constantly being, how do I put it? She's not getting her needs met at all, or even, like, recognized. Even as... She, so she gets pregnant in the movie, and her husband, Javier, is just... It's not that he's unsympathetic, but he just... Not doing the right things. He's making things a lot worse. So... Yeah, after thinking about it for a while, I was like, okay, this represents... Because there's one specific scene, it's at the very end of the movie, where he basically... She sacrifices a piece of herself in a horrible way. <laughs> and from what she sacrifices, I don't want to give too much away, I probably already am. He gets like a diamond or something that's like precious, like materialistic. So I was like, okay. To me, this symbolizes Jennifer Lawrence's character, Mother, is Mother Earth. And in my mind, her husband, Javier, is like man. I think he represents man because we just plunder the Earth's resources. We're don't give a shit. We do all of it in the name of profit. Oh my god, man. Fuck. So she said it, it's actually... It has to do with... Uh, Jesus and God. Which... That works too. He's dead. The pet's fucking dead. I don't even I don't know if we can do this quest. <laughs> I can't get in to get the fucking brutes. I think we're gonna we're gonna hold off on this quest for now. This is uh, a little bit ridiculous here. But yeah, I can see that it, it being about that as well, especially especially with the sacrifice at the end. But it could probably inter be interpreted as different things along those lines. It's an interesting movie. I don't know. I didn't... Movies like that, to me, if it's too much... I mean, I, I get, you know, symbolism and metaphors, but if there's too much of it, I think a movie based on that, for me personally, it's just... I don't know. It's a little bit too much to watch, honestly. Um, so what are we going to do? Let's see here what we're going to do. We're not going to do any of those. We have the Dead Mines quests. I'm going to wait till we hit level 20, I think, and we're going to get into the Dead Mines. Let's go back to Westfall.
This takes me to Stout Lager. That's actually fine. We'll fly to Westfall. Kind of a flight. And finish up some quests there. I saw the whale with um Brendan Fraser. Mark my words, you won't find faster griffins anywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms than the ones right here in Thelsamar. What do we have to do up here? A little too far out of our range still. Okay, I guess we're going to Westfall. Oh, I mean, the whale was pretty straightforward for the most part, I think. It was about obsession, you know, obsession with food. And, and it, this traumatic experience around it, which sort of caused them to not give a shit anymore. Pretty. No, it's an interesting movie. I think he he uh, I think he won a couple of things for that role that he did. I'm not trying to be a dick, but any time an actor plays a sensitive character or an, uh, a character, you know, handicap. I don't know what to call them. You know or what the terminology is these days. Disabled in some way. Um, you're usually going to win something. I, it's just the way that it seems to be. I mean, he, he he's a he's a good actor. He's a fine actor. He did some. He's chosen some movies that are really. <laughs> Kind of goofy and corny, man, but one of my favorite, the the best thing I've ever seen him in is a movie called School Ties. And if you watch School Ties, there are a lot of actors in that movie. Pretty much, well, almost every everybody in that movie made it pretty big. It was a younger, like Matt Damon is in that, Chris O'Donnell. Um, it's so many recognizable actors in that movie. But I mean, he's a great actor. You know who doesn't get enough credit, I think, for movies are the writers. The people who write the script, the dialogue, because... I mean, you can be the best actor in the world, and if you've got, if the dialogue just isn't there, if it's not realistic or meaningful, it, it's just kind of a waste. I'm sure writers do. Is that called a screenplay? Maybe that's what it's called, like best screenplay. Yeah, it was an interesting movie. Big E reviews movies, sure. After the gym, I was pretty damn hungry. I was shaky. My blood sugar was off. That was a pretty intense workout, so I stopped at Sonic. <laughs> I just got a double cheeseburger, and I was going to eat it without the bread, but... I started to, but it was just insanely messy. Like, I don't eat in my car very, very rarely because I don't want to spill food. I don't like junk food smell in my car. But 
I sat there and ate, and it was just too messy. I was just like, fuck it. I just ate everything. I just ate the bread and everything. <laughs> Didn't feel good afterwards, but whatever. Didn't get fries or the, you know, soft drink or any of that nonsense. And I bought these um, pro little protein drinks. Um, it's not like a meal replacement, but it's got 20 grams of protein. And they're way over sweet. But it, when I looked at the ingredients, I got them from uh, Amazon. <laughs> They didn't look too bad. They didn't look that bad. Had a little sugar in it. I don't mind a little sugar. Every once in a while, it's not that big of a deal. But for the most part, it was pretty decent. And when I got them, I got them day before yesterday. <laughs> and I was really hungry when I got them. I opened the box right here on the living room floor, took it out of the Amazon box, opened the package, and I drank three of them. Just gulp, gulp, gulp. <laughs> kind of messed my stomach up the next day I wish they wouldn't make shit so fucking sweet man I really do let's go turn in this quest uh, right here and we'll slay the golems for the oil and then we will have three quests to turn in for the lighthouse keeper is what we'll do Somebody's doing the device messenger. Yeah, I'm looking forward to running dead mines. Should be fun. I get a little bit anxious and weird in groups of people, even in a video game. But I'll try to I'll try to make it seem like I'm normal and all that, and not having, you know, issues. <laughs> There he is. The boy. So this is part of the treasure map that we, we found off of a murloc and it's going to be right here it's in an old barrel S uh, search the empty jug next to the windmill for the next clue the windmill windmill's up here let's slay some harvesters golems things My stings don't work on these. Neither does his taunt. Uh, his growls won't work here. Discovered that. So it's easy to pull. Some flasks, uh, a flask of oil, rather. That was a nice little crit right there. I guess I should have picked up the uh, the oats for Blanche, but. I don't feel like going over there and getting it.
The car's absolutely filthy. We've had so much rain and snow and... Copper tube. But we're supposed to have more. What is he doing way over there? Oh, he's in the field. Never mind. I thought he was crossing the road. We're supposed to get more snow or weather uh, this Thursday. So... No sense of washing the car up if it's just going to get dirty. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Go see the keeper. Oh, there's the clue. We'll do that. We can go here where I live in southwestern New Mexico. We can go several weeks with no rain. And I mean, it's not good for, you know, gardens and stuff like that. But if you're somebody who's into dressing up the car, getting it clean, shining up the tires and the rims, it's nice. The weather was like that in California, too, where a couple places I lived. Quest in there from Van Cleef. We'll be seeing him soon. Here's DeMont's place. DeMont was a the name of a character in uh, a movie called Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And his character was kind of a scumbag, honestly. But it was supposed to be. Scumbag. Jennifer Jason Leaves in that movie. Pretty, fairly famous scene. I thought she was the hottest thing in the world in that movie. Phoebe Cates in that movie. Uh, another pretty <laughs> memorable scene. Uh, for a teenage boy or a grown man. There's old Murkai. Old Murkai. Of course, um, Sean Penn in that movie. Judd Nelson in that movie. Hello there. Interesting. We can vendor the mana pots vendor for more. We'll give that to me. There you are. Be cool little offhand right here, but we're gonna take uh, for what sells for the most, which is the wand. Hello there, level nineteen. We're finished. Nice. Uh, let's pick ourselves a talent point. I had to pick two more points, and we're going right here. Improved Revive Pit. Now we're able to come down here, and I'm going to spend the next five points in Unleashed Fury. Increase the damage done by your pets. We got that up to 20%. Seems pretty good to me. Alrighty, let's, uh, how are we doing on time? Half an hour in. Go slay some knuckle dusters and stuff. These fools. Oh. Let me not run through a murloc camp. This is the... This is how you come out of the dead mines. Right there. Oh, we have some tin over here. A renegade mage? That's interesting.
I don't know if I've ever seen those things before. There's just the highwaymen, pass stalkers, and knuckle dusters. What if he drops something? This is uh this would be a tough pull right here, because I'm pretty sure this is a three a three man pull. I mean a three mob pull. Let's see. Let's see if Wow, I just got him. I am surprised. But for sure we have a mage on us there. Hello there. Is that an upgrade? It is. It is an upgrade. Oh. So we're going to take the let's take the mage first here. They go down quicker. Let him get a taunt off. Got it. this gun. It's very nice. Did I see a chest here? Did not. He didn't have anything. Like special on him. Pulled that guy immediately. Got a rogue here. When I was in the gym working out, I heard a song came on my Pandora. Never heard before. I like that. Oh gosh, we have a group rolling through here. The song was called, I think they left us to mold by a band. I think it's Unida. Or I don't know. I think it's Unida. It's U-N-I-D-A. It's a pretty kick-ass song. In fact, I listened to it a couple of times. I like hearing new stuff. That type of music is really the only... Like that hard music. I don't listen to that any other time except for when I'm in the gym, really. Occasionally if I'm taking a road trip or something. I listen to pretty chill music otherwise. I'm too old for the... I don't know. That level of intensity or whatever. Yeah, they just came through here and wrecked everything. Charges up in three, two, one, go. So 
There's also a quest here you can do. You can turn in some hops. For some alcohol. It gives you a little stam buff. It's not too bad. Hurry, my friend! Move with haste! In order for our rich lager to taste more like beer and less like stew, hops are needed to make the brew. <laughs> Guys, uh, he's got some rhyme skills there. Do you have any hops on us? I'll tell you one thing we don't have is a lot of uh, bag space left. Um, where's my... Oh, I don't have first aid. This character. That mob literally popped up right behind that guy. Should be able to finish this. Yeah, that guy's back up. Both of them are back up. Both. Well, we'll take them again, won't we? Wow, man. Just running through tagging everything. what you got to do to get the quest done. You can get into the group with them. Okay. Well, I don't like competing for mobs. Although, it's a pretty quick respawn rate here. We could actually just stay here. These mobs... Maybe pop up quick and just keep farming them while they move on. Need four more highwaymen. Get this copper. Hello there. Prioritize the mob over the node. Look at this. Juicy. The knuckle dusters fight barehanded because they're badass. Fiori, Fiori, you're the one. You know what you do, Fiori. You make my bath time oh so fun. We've got a green sword there. Pretty decent. What you got, fool? Some copper. Mama, I'm a highway man. Quite a bit of recording today. I'm way far ahead in the Iron Man challenge. That doesn't give too much away. Let's sit down and drink real quick here. 
pretty far ahead in well, a couple videos ahead in SnowRunner. A couple videos ahead here in Season of Discovery. But I'm going to be recording The Last of Us today. What do we got? Let's do this. I actually don't want to stand here because this mob will come up. Done with the high women. What do we need? Two more path stalkers, one more duster of knuckles. Hello there. There's a chest there. Let's see if we can get that. Surprised that camp is not depleted. Is there really no mobs in here? This is very strange. They probably looted this. Maybe it's popped back up. They didn't loot it. I want the bruise weed. I need to do this quickly. Bag space, bag space. All right, past stalker. Fuck, he just got that. Right here. Damn, that one's high level. Wait, is it? No. Looked like it was orange. Yeah, it's not orange. Mine. All right, this finishes up the quest for us. Congratulations. That getting a little bit wrecked here. Real wrecked. Ah, uh, we want that. Get rid of the okra. Do I have hops? Probably going to abandon that quest. It's just not worth it to me. I don't want to go back there, so... Get rid of Thunder Brew. Oh, we only needed one more hop. It's okay. I don't really care about it. Might be able to sell the hops. If somebody knows they're coming into this area. Maybe they're a baller, got some silver... They buy it. That's a quite a bit of forethought, though. All right, we can turn this in. Probably call it. I don't know. Should we do this? I think that's the last piece, and then we're going to come out to one of these islands. It might be here, I think. Did he die? What the hell happened there? That was so weird. I thought there was a priest fighting that. I mean, there was. I don't know. Doesn't matter.
Uh, we can clear the bags up here. Fjordi. We'll have to track down the messenger if we want. And then do the escort. I try to keep Sentinel Hill stocked, and that's not easy with all the action we see. Okay. Make sure let me know. Just sell that. I don't care about it. Those are not really selling the, uh, what you call them. got too much damn crap on me, man. Might be able to sell those. Do I care about this axe? I don't think so. I'm just going to sell the thing. And I don't care about that sword or the cheese. How are we doing on milk? Let's buy one more. See you around. See ya, bro. When I left the tainted lands of Lord Aaron, I returned to a grim Lord state Garen. of affairs here in my homeland. But there is hope for Westfall yet, as proven by your valor in battle. Unacceptable. Lord Darren? He means Lord Aaron. Hello. What is it? More work. More work. Da, 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 dee, da, da, da. Got a steamy romance novel over here? Can't read it. We can read this from The Last Guardian. I read all that. What do we have here? Nothing. Alrighty. Let's wrap it up. Call it. And episode. Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Rush and I will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Till we meet again. Peace. Peace.